From outside, Evil Twin Brewery, the Cowboy, the Cowboy, a smoked pilsner style I've never heard of before, but it should be exciting. Yeah, it's a it's a 5.5 percent, and I'm gonna read you what they wrote on the bottle because it's pretty funny. It says, uh, "I need to know what kind of beer cowboys drink, as I have recently wanted to become one. I want to be the best cowboy I can be, and I think drinking correct beer is important. I already have a big cowboy hat and a nice big shiny buckle. A nice uh, little, I guess it's kind of like a poem. It's like a flavor text. Yeah, that's good. We found out today, actually, that Evil Twin Brewery is a single man kind of deal, which is a gypsy brewer, and he goes to different breweries and uh, you know distributes beer through them, so it's pretty awesome. So, but, uh, yeah, so let's break into this. Ooh, nice noise. I like that. Okay. See what it looks like. Okay, looks like a bottle conditioned beer. Mm hmm. Lots ahead, but nothing wrong with that, right? Once again, coming for the cheap joke. Maybe we'll put that right there in the middle. So. Alright. Okay. I can smell it from here. I like the picture. If you can see, it's kind of like a. Digitalized cowboy, so pixelated. Okay, so yeah, as you can see, they are big, white, soapy heads on these beers, kind of like an off-white. Nope, I take it back. See, you gotta look over the rim. It's totally white. Yeah, it's very white. Mm. It's not a see-through beer, though. No, it's definitely mm. bottle conditioned. It's um very hazy, which is kind of um not traditionally what pilsners look like you normally think pilsner real really, clear really clear grassy kind of pale corn. beer yeah so yeah let's get an aroma on it All right. oh yeah right away smoke yep smoky but i smell a little grassy note in there i'm gonna i mean the first thing i think of when i smell this is smoked salmon no i'm there's not so, getting that there's something about that grassy quality from the the pilsner because there's definitely that nice traditional Pilsner smell no, coming I do get, out of it. Uh, maybe a little bit of that twinge. I might see what you're talking about. But, but I mean, I like smoked salmon a lot. And that smoky it's flavor really, is really smoky. very reminiscent of what I get off smoked fish. Mm, but it's super nice. Nice sweetness in the background. Right. But, uh, Let's get a taste. Yeah. Yeah. So it starts off just like the nose with that nice smoky. hit of smoke, but then the smoke clears. Oh, it blends super well with that, you know, lager quality. That mm -hmm. it's really yeah. smooth. And mm -hmm. I think I've got no, a great. That's, that's really tasty. I'm not a huge fan of smoked porters. I've had some that I've liked. But this is on the totally like, yeah. I know this is it's like smoother. I yeah. find. I mean, I've had some nice smoked, um, like some. I, I don't know the real German name. We'll have to figure it out in our second half of the video. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's a you know like a smoked half or a smoked dunkel. So, kind of reminiscent of that. But uh, definitely, definitely really enjoying this beer. Yeah, really. There's no like citrus quality that you might get from a pilsner. The smokiness kind of really brings out the malt. You get a nice like middle of the mouth sweetness, but it ends you know with a nice, nice bitter note. Yeah, there's definitely that nice bitter note on the back end. Yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna sip on this and we'll get back to you. There we go. We're back. Okay, cool. So we're here with the cowboy, a smoked pilsner, our first smoked pilsner. And uh, I think we both really enjoy it, right? Yeah, no, I think that they, they've really successful. I love that the head is still sticking around. Uh, it's got a great flavor. That smokiness really balances well with what what else they're trying to do with the beer, and it matches what, what they're doing with their hops and their malt. And it's a lot darker than a traditional Pilsner. Oh, yeah. Significantly I mean, darker. It's, it's barely reminiscent of a Pilsner. I mean, it's it's almost its own style. I would have a hard time saying Pilsner if mm -hmm. you know, it's a blind testing. Um, I might say like a smoked, I don't know, like another, like maybe even like a smoked Hefeweizen. Yeah. You know, but 
I mean, um, it does have some Pilsner characteristics. They just don't come through as much as the smokiness. Yeah, that's the but most dominant. But I will dominant say thing, that yeah. the uh, the bottle conditioning really helped it. Yes. Yeah, I think that the amount of head that you got from it and just the carbonation from the bottle conditioning made it much better beer. Yeah, super awesome mouthfeel that it's not similar to your standard, you know, lager. But, uh, yeah, so Evil Twin, you know, I haven't had a lot of experience with them. This is only my, you know, third beer by them, but, or him. <laughs> but we're excited to see more. Oh, yeah, we're looking for them now because this is quality stuff. So, uh, Final until chug. then, yeah, let's get this. Yeah, we found out smoked beers, it's called Roche beer, R-A-U-C-H-B. Yeah, and it has to do with the... Drying your barley over, or your barley over a, uh, your bar- marley, uh, your, your, your barley, your barley, barley, mold, <laughs> your barley mold your over, barley. Uh, over a open flame. <laughs> so uh, that's that's where that comes from. Well, until next time, drink, drink fresh, fresh. <laughs> drink, drink local. local. Cheers. Cheers. I'm a soul man.